Okay, so you have to do the motion matchup lab. How do you set this thing up? A couple things that you got going on. You've got your motion detector, you've got your clamp, you've got your LabQuest Mini, you've got this random gray cord, and you've got your laptop. If you have that and your packet, you're ready to go. So how do you do this? Well, first of all, you need to actually uh, set this up. Now there's a little hole in the back here, and that's where you fit the little screw into it. Just get them lined up and twist it in and then you are good to go then what you want to do is actually make sure that that is lined up right about here notice that I set it up so that there is a nice lane that I can walk down that's kind of the big point you need a nice long area to be able to walk down the next thing you got to set up is the following you need to connect this gray cord with the little white bit, connect that into the motion detector. You shouldn't need any real uh, force. It should go in nice and easily. If you have to push hard, you're doing it wrong. Then open up the LabQuest Mini. And two things come out of here, a black cord and the LabQuest Mini. Here's what you do. The other white one, put it into Dig1 right there should go in nice and easily no real force necessary then this needs to interface with your computer so you take the USB cord put the little piece in here and connect this to your laptop you're almost ready to go next up what you got to do is hit command space bar and you'll get the spotlight search okay. and in the spotlight search go ahead and type uh, logger as in I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay and hit logger pro open that up and up pops a graph there you go you're just about ready to go now here's the thing in the packet I give you specific files to use so if you're gonna do a specific file typically I tell you to go to file open and then it'll pop up with a folder structure and you have to follow the directions to find it you can do that uh, without me telling you exactly what to do here but the whole point here folks is that this will track my motion so if I move away or toward it's going to track where I am or how fast I'm going there you go there's your setup really after that you just have to follow the directions but let me demo this to you and give you a couple of tips all right so it's set up and you've got your lane to walk through a couple things that you want to keep in mind okay uh, first of all whenever you're taking data it's going to be nice if you have a nice flat object in front of you why because no matter how much you tell yourself you don't have actually flat washboard abs you just don't and this is a nice flat surface it's big and it's flat whereas you have ruffles and such and it's going to take a different distance depending on where it's bouncing off of this makes the data much much smoother okay also as you'll notice okay if i back up and then i get closer you notice that as i get close enough it just sort of levels out you don't want to get too close it's about half a meter or a third of a meter or if you have this set up here in the room it's about the width of a table you don't want to get any closer than that okay also make sure that when you are going there's nobody else in your way so communicate with the people around you use this learning community to your advantage also you might notice let's say uh, my task is to walk slowly away from the device okay watch what happens when I do this so what you saw there if you look at the data you see there's a little bit where is just sort of funky and then I was just sort of dilly dallying here because I wasn't actually moving the way I was supposed to I can ignore that part also at the end here I just sort of slowed down and looked around for a little while or maybe I would run into somebody that is not relevant data only graph the relevant data on your chart okay the relevant data is what I need to see and you should be able to figure that out 
this is the relevant data because that's when I was following the directions and walking back at a, back at a constant velocity, okay? Uh, also, make sure that you are following the directions. Again, you are going to have specific files to open up, and if you don't open up those specific files, you're not gonna get the right graph. You're gonna be graphing something completely different. Uh, I believe that's about it, so good luck, and oh, try, try, try again. If you're matching a graph and you don't match it right away, please, take five extra times and get it done right. I'd rather see you do it well than do it quickly.